Okay, brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome again to that fastest 30 minutes. I'm Prophet Johnson. Revelation chapter number um, 18 and start at verse number 7. I know you say, Prophet Johnson, can we get through this? No, ma'am, no, sir. The only way up is out. America's got to come out. People can't come out for these reasons. I'm showing you why they come out, can't come out. How much she have glorified herself, verse number 7, Revelation 18, and lived deliciously, lived deliciously. <laughs> you, know, you know, we live it, we live it deliciously <laughs> in the church. All got money in the bank. Folk going to restaurant to eat. Children hard-headed. Everybody got new shoes and you choose what they want to eat. I don't want no more chicken. I'm tired of chicken. I don't want no more pork. I'm tired of pork. I don't want no more beef. I'm tired of beef. Let's go out and get us some shrimp and lobsters and crabs. Oh, don't we have it, y'all? Living deliciously. <laughs> Hold me. Right, here we go. Here we go. Y'all be patient with me. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Think about it, folks. Think about it. The glory that is upon this nation, the fatness, the promises in him that are yea in amen. Come unto me, all you that labor and are the heavy laden. Uh -uh. And I will give you rest. No, sir. You know who that was meant for? Slaves out in the cotton field. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. These people labor and are not, and they the only heavy laden they got is some problem with some camera, some media, some boyfriend, some celebrity status, some girlfriend, some children. They're not heavy laden with burdens. For God or burns under the whip of the taskmaster? You see? And I would give you rest. They don't need rest. Most of them rest when they go to church on Sunday. Half of them. Man, you know how many folks in church I've had to wake up in my service? Why? Because they had a sleeping demon. I had people I had sleeping demons. Soon they get to church, the devil put them to sleep. You, it don't matter. I used to shut the service down and have all the people to watch one person sleeping. I tell the people, shh, shh, y'all be quiet. Don't nobody say nothing. Be quiet. I'm going to keep talking soft. And the Lord said this. And the Lord said that. And I keep talking. I get real quiet. And the Lord and this. And then I say, y'all, look, look. Everybody look at one person. I say, y'all, shh, be quiet. We'll sit there and be quiet for a while. And the person open up his eyes and see everybody looking. And then I start back to preaching. Talking about fat America. Therefore shall her plague, verse number eight, therefore shall her plague come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord who judgeth her. You see, it wasn't 9-11 that did it. A lot of people thought it was 9-11 when the Twin Towers fell. I prophesied those things down up in um. Uh, where was I at? Hartford, Connecticut. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication live deliciously with her. No, this is futuristic. This is something that's coming later. Shall bewail her, lament her for her, for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All other nations sitting back watching, oh, what happened to great America? France, Britain, Spain, all them... But the, they sitting back looking, wow, what happened? Grid coordinates got shut down. No weapons was working. America was a sitting duck. Blackout and darkness covered the land. You know, martial law set in. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, the only way up is out. Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that might city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. One hour? What can bring devastation and judgment in one hour? 
nuclear missiles, right? That's the only thing. In today's time, nothing else can do that. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchants merchandise anymore. You think that God is not concerned about the um, children in Gaza and what's happening over there in Israel with the land being um, whatever, torn apart like it is? They say that's the worst rubble since World War II. They got more destruction. And look at what they're doing over in Ukraine. No sympathy for human life, no compassion. I, I couldn't understand that anyway. How can, how can you say to a bully, Putin, you can kill all these people and tell these people you can only shoot back at their army while they shoot at your city? Oh, no. No, that don't work that way. I done told y'all what the deal is. Blow up everything in Moscow, just like they'll blow up everything in America. Shoot everything. It don't matter. Chicken, pig, men, women, children. We're at war now. Everything dies. Everything. That's what it's about anyway, right? If you hadn't been in a war, then you don't know the deal then, do you? I've been there. Here it is. Here it is. And, and, you're, and you don't want to do none of that. You don't want to kill no women, no children, no pigs, and no chickens. You don't want to do none of it. But that's what they're doing to them. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn. Why? They can't buy any more merchandise. The merchandise of gold, verse number 12, and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple. And, you know, what's that, Hollywood? And silk and scarlet and all fine, fine wood. That's the expensive stuff. And all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and of ivory. Why is God going into detail naming all this stuff? He's letting you know there's nothing going to be left. And cinnamon and odors, that's your perfume store. You know, they showed a pair of shoes. I've never seen nothing like it. The, the, the heel of the shoe was six inches long, five inches long. And, um, and the feet of the shoe came down about three inches in front of the heel. And the person had to walk like that. And I'm thinking to myself, my God, it, it, it's not worth it. And those things cost thousands, hundreds of dollars for something that hurt your feet. And mine hurt with tennis shoes. And cinnamon and odors and ointment and frankincense, the only way up is out. And wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots, watch this, and slaves. In souls of men, you see it? What nation? They're trying to do everything to turn back slavery. They've tried to do everything to lie it out of history. I just had a recent conversation with someone and said, have you ever thought that you don't know who you are or where you came from? Have you ever thought about that? And you know what they were saying? Yep. I sure have. And I said, what are we? We came here as slaves, right? Ancestors, right? Where do we come from? What are we? Africa, where? Who are we? And God said, you'll go and serve them. But they're going to bless you and take care of you because my mercy is going to be upon you. And that's why America has taken care of it's people because of God's mercy. But we will be hunted and tormented all the days of our lives. You know? And the fruit that thou, that thou soul lusted after, all this stuff is gone. You know, God telling Prophet Johnson, you ain't going to get no more blackberries and strawberries. <laughs> you can forget it. No more peaches and plums because I'm a fruitaholic. And the fruit of thy soul lusted after, are departed from thee, and all things 
which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Fruit, meaning whatever you desire, really. Okay, whatever it is that you did or you like. Get to the good part here. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Now, that's got to be something to see this level of destruction coming up on any land, let alone America. And people literally don't believe this. They literally don't think nothing is going to happen. That's why the church is in a, is in a, the church is in a lackadaisical mindset, saying, Allah, Allah, great city, fine clothes, Hollywood, uh, movie stars, uh, green acres. In verse number 17, for in one hour so great riches is come to know. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as traded by sea stood afar off. They're watching by television. They're watching. All the other nations are watching. There are people all over the land that admire America. And America, and Americans admire other nations and other lands. We're supposed to as a whole enjoy this earth. Let me say this. Brothers and sisters, you guys along with myself, and I, I don't mean to offend the women by saying you guys, they're just a slang terminology for men and women, but we shouldn't say that because they say we stereotype. But brothers and sisters in the Lord, <laughs> y'all forgive me. We guys, us, okay, listen, we are supposed to be able to go everywhere on this earth free of charge. That's right. That's what God meant from the beginning with Adam. Be fruitful and multiply the earth, replenish the earth. Everything is supposed to be open like never before. They talk about dictators and stuff like that in American communism. And you look at who is that, uh, <laughs> Libya's Gaddafi. And they eliminated him and expired him. Well, the brother kind of in a way was a genius, don't you think? <laughs> what do you mean by that, Prophet Johnson? Didn't he take care of that nation? They didn't like him because he was taking care of the people. So what they do? They got rid of him. Even if he stole a little extra, at least he took care of the people. How hard is it for a king or a dictator or a communist leader to take care of a whole country and serve God? Not hard at all. Y'all have dictators every four years and don't know it. Huh. Verse number um, 19. And they cast dust off their heads and cried weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein we're, wherein we're, we're made rich, that great city wherein were made rich, all uh, that had ships and sea. In other words, the great city that made all of us rich. Okay, for in one hour she is made desolate. Verse number 20, rejoice over her, thou heaven. That don't make no sense. <laughs> but God is God. God is God. God saying rejoice. You know. Rejoice over her. Thou heaven. And you holy apostles and prophets. For God have avenged you on her. Who? <coughs> Who did God avenge? Me. Y'all missed that one. Y'all missed that one. I just got to work on the holy part, but you missed that one. 
We all got to work on that, don't we? God said, you want to mess up the prophets? You want to kill the apostles that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in this land? Y'all are denying it, rejecting it. Can't no more tornadoes scare y'all. Can't no more hurricanes. It don't matter about the tornadoes, y'all. We told y'all already. God said, I'm coming inland to get you. In Kansas, Oklahoma, Idaho, uh, those mid-states. He's coming to get y'all, Colorado. So he doesn't hit you. Mississippi, you're going to get hit. As well as Alabama. Tennessee and Kentucky. But y'all been hit already. Texas messed up. But you want to kill the prophets? And God said, oh, hell going to break loose. From the days of John the Baptist until the hour of Prophet Johnson. You're going to reap what you done sowed. Enjoy that delicacy. Enjoy the fat of the land. Enjoy your husband, your wife, your sex trap. Enjoy it. Because payday is coming. It is coming. You better, oh, I ain't telling y'all nothing. Y'all go get just a caught. Some of you preachers, I done warned y'all in your little small churches, your little settings, and all the little stuff that you got. Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. I hear your name. You want to play a dirty deal? God will wipe out your house and your church. Y'all want to play that little dirt down there? And you right there on the coast? And don't know there's a prophetic word already aligned against this nation and against the world like you've never seen before? God's given us time. Time right now. Look at what's happening in the nation. The division. The jealousy. Look at what's happening with Former 45. What are y'all seeing? It's true, y'all. It's true. They're after the gold ring. They're after the trophy. But you best be after heaven. You best be looking for God. You best be trying to get it right. Because everything else is going down. But the word of God, rejoice over her, thou heaven, verse number 20, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. Vengeance is mine. Who said the Lord? I will repay. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpeters, trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. No more. Late night comedy. No more gap band. No more Taylor Swift. No more stank unsay. All of that is over. It's all over. But <laughs> enjoy it now, though. <laughs> Enjoy it now. <laughs> you better, you better. Good Lord Jesus. I done seen it, God. I've seen this day. Help me, God. Help me. I know what to do. I done told him. Help me to get ready to prepare. Lord, just keep talking, son. Just keep telling him. Because I'm writing this down. I'm recording this. I got this. God said the wind is going to blow. Um, his favor is up on Augusta, Augusta, Georgia. God's favor is up on you. I think I told you that before. God's favor is on Augusta, Georgia for some strange reason. I don't know. Here it is. He says, 
All your, your, your bagpipers, your bad boys, your gap band, they, they're getting out of here. All your, the craftsmen, you see, all the folks y'all breaking from Mexico to work over here, fix these houses and these roads. Now, the nation's going to boom. Now, let me say this right quick. The nation is going to boom. It's booming now. And it's going to boom. Watch, get this right now because <laughs> you can't stop the booming, especially in the South. It's going to boom right on through um, the election, 24, coming in 25. The nations are still going to be booming. Because they're building so much. They got so much that they're building. They're begging for workers. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm thinking about going and doing something. Uh, uh, but uh, Lord Jesus, help me. But anyway, um, please help me. But it's going to go on. But what's going to happen is that, see, Satan is going to put a drag in that thing. He's going to put a drag in there through that election. He's going to put a drag in there. And you know how this everything rolling smooth? And, and you, you, you pull in the rock, you got a big block behind you, you got a rope, but the rock is on wheels, and the next thing you know, one last wheel run out, or rather the rollers, wheels, not wheels, rollers, such as logs or something. And to get past that last log and run off and hit that dirt, and you got to try to pull that thing through the dirt, not without the logs. And you can only pull it one inch uh, for every 15 seconds, you know. That's what it's going to be like. He's going to drag this thing, y'all, with a heavy load. And he's going to break this thing down. Because they're not going to be satisfied with the money, with the cars, the Rolls Royce, the houses. The, the only satisfaction they're going to get is the spirit of blood, the spirit of death. So blood is going to have to come in 24, in 24, coming in 25. So the nation is going to start bleeding. And it's going to be blood in the rain. And you're going to see blood in the water because of this word right here. The vengeance of God upon the nation of Babylon. This great whore, this prostitute of all the nations that still is full of hatred and racism. And here's the thing that gets me is that these white people over here are European folks. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what they became is an atrocity. White man, you're going to be judged because God has given you the power to love and to help and to treat with equality all the peoples of this nation. And you have not done that from your Congress to your White House even though the black people have bent over backward to try to give y'all the benefit of the doubt. We have voted for y'all. We have ran for y'all. We have prayed for y'all. And y'all still, from the highest, from the government to the lowest of the hillbilly in South Carolina, you have got to repent, ask God to forgive you, and turn away from your hatred and racism in suppressing the people. Because God has given y'all so much, white man. In America, he have allowed y'all. Think about it. You are white. You, go, you don't get this. You don't see it. You don't get it. In you is a mindset. Your mindset is supreme, but it's evil. It is wicked. And what makes it so bad, white man? is that you go to your church and you praise your God in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Ask him for mercy to go back out and to start the same evil all over again. That's why y'all going to be judged. White man, you're going to be judged. Black man, forget him. Just forget him. <laughs> you know, just forget you know. What the brothers say, the brothers say, why should I listen to your conversation and all this and that? Your conversation don't have no merits in my life. And no, folks, people mind now is on a rock bend. They know everything. I mean, you literally, it blows your mind just looking at people as a whole. 
and how there is absolutely no one voice that they will listen to because everybody thinks we all have the answers. <laughs> you know, it is so funny watching this. I understand how Jesus felt. I understand how Martin Luther King felt. Malcolm X, Gandhi, all of those people. I understand now how they must have felt. And the prophet Jeremiah and Isaiah and them must have felt just like me. And I'm like, God, do we all feel this way? The Lord like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, did they really feel what I'm? The Lord's like, even worse. They went and wept and cried for the nation. Went and talked to the presidents and the kings. I can't go and talk to no president bad. <laughs> I did get to Obama, though. We did get to Obama. Obama's cool, though. He's a cool cat. But here's the thing about it. They'll throw me in jail. They'll throw me under the river, under the water. Talk about the White House is the people house. White House ain't no people house. The White House is their house. That's why God made it black for one year, and it went back white. Here it is. Next, they're going to change it yellow. Here it is. Where am I at? Somewhere. Uh, verse, oh, the craftsman. It, 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 it's a skill. In whatsoever craft he be. It don't matter what doctor, law you got to, you ain't having nothing. You got it now. You got it now because we hadn't been hit with nothing. Lord, please don't let nothing happen. But I can't stop it. Shall be found anymore and this. Not going to be found. They're going home. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all. Indeed, the great big factories. Nobody's working. Why? Why is all this going to happen? Let me show you. Let me show you now. And the light of a candle shall shine no more. At all indeed, in the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more. At all indeed. Now, who's getting married? For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries. There it is right there. Woo! Boy, minister, that's a good one to roll in there, brother. Woo, woo, woo! For thy what? Because damnation root word damned to hell because of all of your damned witchcraft. That's what you do. It's all over. Everywhere. All on your television. Good Lord. Jesus. Lord help me. God help me. Because of your sorceries. Your sorceries. God know Hollywood is there. Hollywood is there for his glory, for his purpose. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Do you know what Hollywood could do for God? <laughs> Think about it. What could Hollywood do for God? Well, who do they work for? The devil. It's hard to get God up in Hollywood. You got to sell your soul just to get your name on the, on the road. Come on, y'all. Talking about taking a man's manhood. Man, y'all crazy. Lord Jesus, help us all. Help us. We sick. I can't go that route. I leave that up to my other preachers and stuff. I just can't talk about that crazy mess. Oh, no. Oh, no. Were great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Your trickery, your manipulation, your come on, y'all. And in her was found the blood. The blood of what? Of prophets. And of saints. You know how many prophets? that they could have done hung in trees. How many saints was killed? Slavery. The blood of the prophets right now. I'm not talking about these false stuff. I'm not talking about them guys on TV pimping y'all. They after. The real anointed prophet men and women.
women of God. I know this. You see, Lord, I don't have no more time for this. Lord Jesus. Satan uses um, entities, demons, to target prophets and apostles of God to try to destroy them one way or another. They've been doing it. I mean, I can't even tell y'all how many times I've been targeted. I can't even tell y'all. Because your minds are too minute. It's too small to understand, too small to comprehend. If I didn't listen to God half the time, I'd be in trouble all the time, doing nothing, nothing at all. How would you like to be free and suppressed? Because you can see in the spirit. Man, y'all wouldn't believe. Man, I got to go, minister. We're we going to close. We're getting ready to close. This is the last verse. I ain't got but one verse. Here it is. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Think about it. You riding down the road. You got a three-year-old baby in the back. Three years old. Sitting in a car seat. You going to Fort Lauderdale to do a revival. A, the mother's in the seat. You driving down the roads in an old Mercedes. All the other cars passing you. The white man see you. Pull. Get behind you. You turn off the road. Go back up. He waiting down the road on you. Two or three miles. Pull you over, ask you why did you turn off the road, check your car, don't care nothing about your daughter, don't care nothing about the woman, and then threaten to try to kill you all because you're black. Let me tell you something. You people that they call Negroes, and you people that they call crackers, and you people that they call niggers, Y'all niggas and crackers don't know nothing when it comes down to the truth of what they did to what they call real niggas like me. That's why I tell y'all like it is. Why? Because you need to know the truth. And it has happened all my life. And that's been my greatest fear is to be hunted by the white man and killed for no reason at all because of a demon. White people, y'all don't know what they did to us. That's just one occasion. How would you feel, white man, if a black man pulled you over and with your daughter and the mother and then tried to kill you because you was black and humiliating you in front of them like it ain't nothing and the child don't even know what's going on? I'll see y'all tomorrow night. The only way up is out. Bye. See you.